Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumins Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. And today I want to talk to you about several things. The very first of which that I want to address. There is no controversy. I want to uh, outline a couple of things for clarity and to keep some of you who really need to keep going moving. Keep moving. Now, uh, there's a lot of things that are popping up right now. And this is where many of you are going to see the separation of worlds start to show up in the physical. Now, for me, I really felt it sheer off in January. I, I had trouble breathing. I thought I was having, I thought I was going to die. And it was a death. And a lot of you who are true twin flames have been understanding that you have been not only dying a thousand deaths, but collapsing other things to bring all of you right here to be with your true love. And that is your twin flame. And they are doing the same thing. And some of you are losing your patience. You're saying, well, because you're on your human schedule. But there is a divine schedule and a divine timing to this. So that is some of what I want to talk to you about and the reasons why and that if you can hang on, uh, go ahead and stay where you're at. But for those of you who do know who you are and you know that what you perceive, what you get visions of, what you feel, what you know in your heart to be true is your truth and that you're not crazy. You've stopped doing some of the insane things that you still see other people doing with their weird bee dance, that whatever it is that they're doing. And I want to outline for you that there are not many twin flames for you. There is, if you're a twin flame, there is only one person and you're going to know it. Your heart tells you. Many people are not going with their own heart guidance and they're becoming muddled out there with a lot of the mixed information. But your heart is the one that th is the part of you that is always going to give you the truth. Your heart will always tell you, yeah, it's that person. And I will say this, many of you are like, that person's not my dream man or my dream woman and that person is hurting me. And instead of letting them hurt you, why aren't you working on getting everything cleaned up? Because whatever you're seeing is a mirror sending it right back to you of what needs to be healed. What need? yes, you are seeing it right there. And only you two can trigger it out of each other. So there are not many twin flames. And we're in higher energies. It is going to be possible to feel people differently, better. They may feel better. They may feel sweeter. They may be showing you some things that actually belong to your twin flame. Everybody does not have a twin flame because not everybody here is a true twin flame. However, there are divine counterparts. And that is a lot of why this is happening this way. I want to talk to you about another thing. This is where a lot of the controversy is coming in. There are people that say that they can guide or they do things or they have reports. And if those people, if people are portraying themselves as a 5D guide, it will be apparent by their abilities whether or not it's actually true. And some of you are feeling that. And I'm not going to name names. Don't ask me to name names because... There's plenty of names. If you go back and look at uh, Twin Flame information from 30 years ago, 40 years ago, from the 1950s, you'll find that it's highly esoteric, verging into the occult in many ways. And in many ways, that was the venue for it. It's much more mainstream now. It's much more widely available through the Internet. There are people here to receive, and they want it. We are moving from 3D karmic relationships into divine relationship. How do you do it? Well, the people who are creating it are the ones that will be able to truly tell you how to. 
how to. How do you do this? How do you get there? How do you release this stuff? How do you release it so effectively that you can integrate and and form to yourself the template of the new body that's being offered here? So only people that actually are authentic will be able to do this. Everyone else, I, I said this in my last video, other people are hitting that glass ceiling. You got to shatter through the glass ceiling and sometimes that means your soul is outgrowing the things that you've been using as a stepping stone. It could be people, it could be beliefs, it could be um, the way you were raised in your culture, what they tell you or your religion. It's going to be a lot of things. And only you will know when your soul has outgrown some of those things that got you by. Okay, this is going to continue to be glaringly apparent. And rather than flailing around with it or getting indignant, move on, please. My dears, can't we please just go to where we really belong? I know many of you do. And there will be some of you who absolutely have to go first. You have to get where you're going so that you can turn around and say, okay, come on, it's here now. Now, uh, the next, uh, I guess, cosmic event that's coming up here, and this has been very long in preparation. This has actually been two years of pulling everything in from the four corners of the universe, starting from last year, and we're going into a Venus retrograde. Now, Venus is feminine, but it's not just feminine. This is also the water, watery emotion, and it's motion. This is going to be your um, the children of the orange ray people. It will be your progeny, your children. And this uh, very much is connected to the Shekinah energy. And it's going to be occurring from July 25th to September, sorry, September 6th. This is all going to be about love choices. You either know or you don't. You either know who your true love is. If you have not met the person, many times you know in your heart you're here for someone. I highly suggest that you look strongly at your love choices because the consequences for choosing not wisely is going to be very significant for you and you will be in many ways sometimes tearing down that very thing you've been waiting for and building up. Keep choosing what your heart knows. Choose wisely. As they said in that Indiana Jones mo movie, you have chosen wisely. So you either know or you don't. This is going to be for the Seraphim Illumins, Twin Flames, the Orange Ray, Shekinah. And a lot of those people live in the, they live in the southern and eastern parts of Europe. So it will be countries like Poland, um, Slovenia, Czech Republic. Sorry if I'm missing someone. I don't have... A definitive list. It will be Greece, it will be some of the Balkan countries, Romania, verging into Turkey, east towards um, Italy, I'm sorry, west towards Italy and Spain. Ciao Italia. Viva España. And hey, today is Bastille Day, freedom, liberation, uh, happy independence to France. And a lot of you are going to be feeling this wave of energy. You're, you might meet light and lovely people. And your ability to push off and say, no thanks, and walk on by, and know that the universe is getting you lined up. All of these cosmic and galactic lineups are happening for a reason. And it's for you to be in love. So... What I want to also let you know is that not everybody does have a twin flame, but the divine counterparts who've come here, not only are many of them helping, but many of them are here to uh, receive and be new. They do have an other, they have another uh, part counterpart. 
and there's going to be a distinct difference though between a two true twin flame and a divine counterpart this is not to diminish anyone you are all bringing something to the table and some of you have rushed forward and set it down opened it up and got it and it's steaming hot and it's ready and it's delicious and it's it's ready to go um i have this little thing i want to show you i had this package of blueberries okay I had a little package of blueberries, and I opened it up, and there were these two blueberries. And they were so moldy, they had, like, fused together. They they molded and olded together, but this is not emerging. Some of you are choosing to get old and moldy with someone else. And it's going to wind up feeling like it goes south at some point. It will be very short-lived. And I encourage you again, choose wisely, love choices. If you're feeling so built up that you don't know what to do with all of this sexual energy, get my webinar. I do talk in there about what do you do, how do you do it, how do you elevate your sacred energy so that it's not out there for other people's use. If you're tempted to have a one night stand, if you're tempted to just dilly dally with someone because you're so bored or you're so tired, or you just want to cuddle, think again. In fact, don't think. Feel it, because your ego and other people will be telling you, you know, what are you waiting for? And you have to respond back, I know who my true love is, and that is a blessing. Be grateful. Be grateful if you know, if you've met. Some of you need to go back to some gratitude and say thank you. Not to me. But to say thank you, thank you for thank you for my person being born. I met them. Thank you for us both being here. The distance is only this much. Thank you for showing me the mirror of what does need popping out and healing. Thank you that I've got tools and support and I'm here in an area where I can do this. Thank you that I've got the technology that I can, you know, get some of this stuff or, or talk to other people. Stop the public commiserating. Misery loves company, and those that really want to, you know, feed off of that, they will find you. But love has also found you. If you felt lost, your love will find you. Get still with it. And get out of the things that don't click with you, don't support you or your twin union. And if, if you're feeling some of this weird controversy, take a break. Get out. Go out and your best ally is going to be nature. Get out of the house. Get out of the place. Go out into nature. Continue doing the work that is going to align you up. And many of you do know by now what is good for you, what isn't good for you. Or at least you know like what love isn't. You're like, oh, that thing didn't work for me. You have to continue knowing yourself. This will become more and more individual. This is you, especially if you are a twin flame. And there's some special points I want to make about Blu-ray twin flames. We're very much done with a large part of the prototyping and with uh, the setup, okay? What I can call the behind-the-scenes setup, it's done. We did it because the uh, people that were doing it for our children, and I want to explain something. Years ago when I really started doing some of my work and collapsing in parallel lives, and I had to die to get out of some of those lives, I would be laying in my bed completely aware that I was in a car accident or I fell down something and I died. I did not have the extreme pain. I didn't re-experience that. But I was aware of it. And one day I said, well, if I've got all these lives, what am I leaving behind? Am I leaving behind a family? Am I leaving behind children? And the answer was, yes, sometimes you do. And I said, well, hey, wait a minute. Who's going to take care of all these children? If we're collapsing lives to be here, who's going to take care of the children? Who's taking care of the children right here? And I very much got a response of, well, 
bring that forward just a bit. Just keep keep coming forward with that. And I said, we are. And they said, yes, you are. Continue with the prototyping. Continue with the setup. Continue so that your children have a platform to stand on. So that those third waves, the seraphim, the people in Eastern Europe, the people in other parts of the world, if you go back to some of my videos last year, it kind of outlined for you how some of these waves are going to go. Australia, Western United States, Western Canada, pop over to Europe. It's going to be the places that uh, many angelics touched down originally in the land of Lemuria. And that's also some of the people who have... They feel like a mermaid. They feel like they're very, they have an affinity for water. They love to swim. They want to live near the water. Not, not exclusively. And it's going to be other uh, parts of the world. So it's going to be South America, South Asia, the Middle East. Every place is going to be touched by the love. Why would we get it set up if we weren't expecting people to be able to connect to the new grid of life. Those are the next part of this. So I am saying to you that if you are leaving, if you're giving up, if you're getting old and moldy with somebody else and your mold is what's holding you together, please choose wisely. Make good choices. If you need to pause and breathe with this, please understand that this, some of this, is actually how how does the how do you detach from the collective mental body? That's some of how it is. We call it controversy. Some of us call it BS. Some of us call it baloney or mierda or something else. So please know that there is a lot of support. There is a divine plan. Make your choice con to continue with your own individual plan and the divine plan. Now, I'm going to say one more thing. Some of you may not know the how of what to do with this. Okay, my February webinar, February webinar. Oh, this is a, this is a bad pen. <laughs> okay, February webinar which will be on the link below here. February webinar is going to help you with a lot of that. It's going to explain things. And you will find that if you go back and look at certain information, you because I was writing some of this stuff in 2013, but it's actually here now and manifesting. I have all of my old messages from my blog stored. I've been writing stuff way back, uh, 2009, and things have shifted and moved. That's for sure. It has shifted. It has had to get to the point where people have a solid foundation. They have a solid footing. They are firmly grounded in 5D. And some of you have needed to do that and wait while it happens and do your work so that you're good. You're good. Your twin's going to show up and much of this is effortless. I know this has been some heavy, heavy-duty stuff for some of you, but I applaud you, and please be proud of yourself. You are some of the very first people, and this is not an experiment. This is you being some of the first people to receive the brand new light body. Try it out, prototype it for yourself, customize it for your own union. And then to keep going out into the world. So thank you so much. I will have the link for my February webinar. I'm also working on another webinar that is going to talk about the last parts of the body so that when you are with your twin, guess where you're going? You're going to the fifth dimension. And this is going to be possible for not just twin flames, okay? Very few twin flames on the planet. However, the opportunity for being new still exists, and there will be those people who they need to know what they're doing and how to get there and have some guidance. So if you're looking at old stuff, be willing to expand your soul right on out of it because some of you are here to lead and not follow. Take the hint. Okay, have a wonderful week. 
and I will be getting back to you with even more information because this knowing what's coming up helps you in a way that does allow you to make optimal choices. It's still individual. You are very loved, and I wish you the best. Bye now.